Kim, give us an outfit. Nothing yet, my daughter's comic. Ice, camera, action, hey, shoes. Hey, we smoking that dope from Mad Men. We the new meth and red men. We ain't real blood, but we bread drinks. Run up a check in this pen. Dubai. I thought today we could take you along with me. I'm basically having a little bit of a really chill day actually, but we are just on our way to the gym. We're training at Gym Nation in Al Kuz. Kuz. I keep calling it like Al Kuz, but it's Al Kuz. <laughs> so we're training there this morning. We've actually been there a couple times before. I thought we would go back, get a good session in. We trained yesterday at Train Beach, which I was showing you last time when I was here. So yeah, different gym today. And then after that, I'm going to be doing some work today. Might be meeting a friend and then we're actually going out for dinner tonight on me to yes. main Shanghai at the five. Though. At the five, so that would be nice. I don't know what we're gonna train today. What are you fancying? Yesterday we did a little bit of legs, but Kim was very, very ill after our night out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't get any more getting old, guys. Yeah, so maybe we'll switch up today. I'm not doing anything. Maybe we'll do like glutes and shoulders. Yeah. I always feel a lot better once I've done like, a little bit of a workout on holiday. Being a little bit stodgy, I looked at my, wa my watch yesterday. Well, actually, not my watch, my phone. And I was looking like, at my sets and I was like, wow. 2,900 steps and it was like 10 o'clock at night. Not okay. That's the only bad thing about being in Dubai. It's just really hard to like get out and walk. It's not made for walking. <laughs> There's like no footpaths. There's no footpaths, so you can't really walk. So we'll do a little bit of a warm up today on the treadmill and then hope we get a few more steps in and then we'll get in the session. Gym time. Body session. How are you feeling? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not happy. We're starting off with shoulder press and tricep extensions like Kim's doing. Yes, girl. Tomorrow we're going to Banus with a lift. I was just not feeling legs again today because I literally kind of walked through went horse riding. <laughs> God. The of my thighs is actually horrendous. Like, it's so bloody sore. How are we all in Why am I not I'm some riding clips now so you guys can see because it was so fun. We literally like went riding on, I want to say the beach. Yeah, we went riding on the beach. I did come off as well. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I literally fell off like head first into the ocean. But anyways, it was an experience. I'm glad I did it. <laughs> Just got back from the gym. I'm in a jumper because everywhere inside in Dubai is absolutely freezing because obviously it's so hot outside. They have to aircon it all. So yeah, I'm in Kim's apartment at the moment in a jumper, but I'm in some shorts. <laughs> I have a little bit of snacks. I've got the My Protein Chuck Krispies. I take these with me whenever I go away, like protein bars, these as well, because it's just a really good kind of snack. You know when you're kind of hungry, but don't want to like just snack on rubbish and then not feel good because obviously in Dubai it's hot. I want to be in a bikini when I want to and I just want to feel as good as possible. If I can have like high protein snacks and make sure that I'm keeping up on my protein intake, it helps so much. But today I am just about to do some more work on my laptop. I did a bit this morning, do some flight check-ins and get that done. It's literally what my days kind of consist of. Like even though I'm away, I'm still working. And I think a lot of people like think that when I come away, I don't work. And honestly, like it couldn't be further from the truth. I work all the time. And this is like one of the things about being an online coach. People think it's really easy. It's it's not it's really hard it's all the time like you don't really get a break and i know everyone kind of deserves a week off but you kind of feel a little bit guilty I and mean, obviously like i want to help my clients as much as possible so for me to have a week off is kind of like telling them that they can also have a week off and obviously i want them to smash it so you kind of just have to be there for them all the time and yeah it's really hard especially from like social media as well because people honestly like coming out to buy i had messages from people i think i'd say like three or four messages being like oh you're on holiday again and it's like well yeah i'm going away but i'm still working like the benefit of my job is that i can work wherever i want to work and that's like a really big perk to it. but obviously people will kind of look in from the inside or the outside and they see that I'm going out they see that I'm drinking they see that I'm going out for meals and at a pool club or whatever but they don't see what I did the morning of like that I got up at five o'clock to the work done or that I you know got my work done day before or whatever so don't ever think that because someone is away that they're not working or that they're not you know doing what they should be because I am I promise I just don't always show all of it on Instagram because it's boring like
like people don't see me working every single day but yeah i was gonna go to a cafe but i'm kind of thinking mm, might not i might just stay here and get it done and just plod on and then get ready look how good these are they're like oat kind of clusters so damn good and they're high in protein so they're such a perfect snack mm -mm -mm, I just ordered lunch from Deliveroo because I'm still busy working and I can't be bothered to leave the house really. I just need to get this done. But Deliveroo over here is so, so good. I ordered from this salad place. It was called, where's my phone? Healthy Bowl Salad Station. Guys, when you're away, it's not hard to eat healthy. And also, it's not hard to eat healthy in general. Like, this is what I ordered. I'm going to show you because unreal so this is it it's like a delicious salad it's got chicken turkey mozzarella tomatoes mozzarella are actually really high in protein too and obviously loads of leaves and they won't ever mix the dressing because they don't want it to go soggy so the dressing is always on the side which is obviously a bonus because then you can add the dressing as you go <laughs> Okay guys, so it is now, it's tan. Court six. Court six, been working all day. Genuinely haven't left the apartment. I shower, wash my hair. And now I'm gonna go a really cool transition and get ready for the night. And just like that, we are ready. Whoop. Right now. Whoop, whoop. Kim, give us an outfit. Talk. So we've got a black and white number. We've got a white number. Oh my boobs. <laughs> With a black body and some black shoes. <laughs> I've got an O poly dress bit baby though really with some green heels and then a white bag i was a little bit worried about actually wearing this dress in dubai because it's a little bit see-through but i think i think we're okay kim says we're okay so so we're good i didn't can kind of see it but not not really i don't know it's not it's not too bad unless if this like rises up my bum but i mean yolo we'll see if we get into the club tonight we're actually off to where are we going we're going, we're going to, to main shanghai in the fire farm for dinner for ladies nice, night nice and then we're off to avenue i think Oh, Avenue, not Soho. Or Soho, not sure. Yeah. So we're off to a club after. But the best thing about ladies' nights is that it's super cheap or a lot cheaper than it would be normally. So if you're coming to Dubai, girls, go and hit up your ladies' nights to get drink deals, food deals. How much is it? It's 250 dirham, you get four drinks and three course meal, and the food Ooh. is so good. Yeah, it's almost like Asian kind of like cuisine. Asian, like Asian fusion. Ooh. Yeah, actually to be fair, we went there for New Year's Eve and it's really, really good. Yeah. Service was a little bit not so good, but <laughs> I should be good because it's, it's not New Year's. Yeah, anyways, I will show you guys what we have to eat as well because you probably want to see that. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I do not feel okay. There's a big one. Mmm, <laughs> nothing that McDonald's can't make. Oh, yeah. So good. Hash brown for one. So good. We're after five today. Pool party. Then out tonight. Then boat party tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Then another pool party Saturday. Sunday's chill. And maybe we go bunnies then. Guys, we were meant to go to the gym this morning for like 8 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. We're meant to be at the pool party now. <laughs> we didn't get in at like before. Yeah. Anyways, we have ordered breakfast. Got my... Oh, why is it so good over here? It's not pork. Yeah. Oh, I like chicken. Chicken is a bit funky. Hmm. Don't say that before I'm about to eat it. <laughs> I feel it's quite good. What's that? Oh my God. It doesn't come like that in the UK. I thought it was going to be like a... Where's my straw? I don't know. We've also, also had to order the Starbucks. <laughs> How'd you do that? So anyway. we bumped into our good old friends from the round one in Dubai. Come out. Yeah, we basically met, met our friends that we met here the first time. God. Anyway, I'm going to finish this here. Because you guys probably bother me eating McDonald's. And uh, we'll see you next week. Say bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Wait, I'm tired of fighting. Saying things we don't mean, you know I don't like it. When you're packing, you're packing time.